So today we are out in spring wheat stubbles. We are working on establishing a brassica and uh, you see FGS behind us applying uh, digestate. So that in our quest to reduce nitrogen, here we're using digestate as a form of uh, N replacement. And here you have the effects before. So in actual fact, we've been through and we've spread this with um, mustard already. I'm just trying to see if I can find any. And as I kneel here, the ground still feels warm. So we've got a real hope that this gets going. So it's a forage brassica that we're planting here for sheep and it's getting an application of digestate. So picking up on the feedback from the AgraVista trials, we want to do a small amount of cultivation to this field as part of the establishment. So it's going to have, a, we're going to try a pass with the carrier as part of the establishment. So to run through the process, we've blown on the crop, the digestate is going on, and then we are going to have one pass with the carrier and hope that the packer roller on the carrier provides enough consolidation. And that hopefully will get us a good active chit going so that the crop grows. The other thing to consider is sort of the damage that it does. We do have a footpath down the middle of this field. Um, so this particular track, internal track, isn't too serious. But obviously these big tankers flying up and down the fields, they do stick to tram lines, but it does have an impact on your fields. It's one of the advantages of mintil, actually, or, or, or low disturbance, that the ground stays firm and it and keeping the tram lines in the place in the same place each year with our control traffic system we don't have to worry too much about the the effect that they're having because the tram line is going to be in the same place next year so so you know if i've banged down the tram line it doesn't matter too much i mean the, from their point of view it's when you don't move the tram lines the ground settles and it's a lot firmer and a smoother ride so i think there's a little bit for everybody in there um hopefully a bit for the plants bit of nutrition a bit for me in the fact that i'm reducing my bag den and a bit for the tractor drivers in the fact that it's not quite so uncomfortable to drive a tractor over so all in all uh just an update on how we're going thank you very much see you next time so we haven't been here for a while. This is another one of our cover crops. This is actually a brassica heavy cover crop and we have just treated this with digestate. So this is a little bit further on than those other fields that had digestate on this week. And it'll be interesting to see how this crop responds. Obviously what we're trying to do is get as much nutrition into our soils as we can there's been a lot of talk this week about cf fertilizer and their behavior as we have done before we have uh, very little uh, bagged in in the system on the regenerative basis but how can we uh, talk going back to our flywheel analogy how can we get as much energy nutrition cycling through our system as we can so in this particular example putting digestate on it's brassica heavy in order to satisfy the current ea uh, rules and the hope is that this will be grazed soon and then the sheep help feed the flywheel uh, they graze the crops make the nutrients available to the subsequent arable crop and help us feed the system so that's what we're planning here it'll be interesting to see sort of the growth what happens to this crop versus that one uh, the stubbles that we've only just seeded 
Again, lovely day here today, the sun catching the crop. What we're really noticing as a rule, what I say is, as soon as a crop gets to sort of mid shin, it really seems to kick on and grow very fast. Certainly we're seeing that elsewhere this year. Uh, this crop just shy of that point where it really gets on, kicks on. So um, it'll be interesting to see, as I said, how this crop grows in the coming weeks. Whilst we're here, I just wanted to draw your attention to this. Lots of clumps of clover in this field. The clover was blown in, I think it was about April. Lots of talk at the time about people complaining about the clover not establishing. It, it's a very quirky plant in the fact that you sow it. It grows when conditions are right, not when you put it in the ground. So uh, we blew this in knowing that it would, as soon as the wheat was cut, it, it would start to come and therefore it would be available in the cover crop. It's part of our nutrient strategy to try and encourage as much clover as possible so good to see it uh, growing here now.